This manifestation technique came true for me in just a few hours. I was so freaking pumped about it that I wanted to share it with you guys so that you can do it too. I'm so freaking giddy about it. <laughs> So if you're watching this, I'm sure you're into manifestation and wanting to learn manifestation techniques. If you want to explore 10 different ones that I've personally tried myself, I will link that video here. But in this video, we're just going to talk about one. So I'm going to share with you how I did it and how it manifested. Now these are very small things, but I want you to do it so that you can begin to exercise your manifesting muscles. And this is especially if you're not having much luck getting your manifestations, this is a really great way to just ease into it and test it out so that you can build your confidence in it just like I did. It's only going to take about two to three minutes so it's super easy and I promise you can do it. It's really just a step-by-step -step simple visualization and I've talked about it in other videos but it's really you know what does it mean to visualize and are you doing it correctly and if you're not let me give you a step-by-step -step on how to do it so that it can work for you. And I really want to point out too that like I am not the most stellar visualizer. I I've questioned myself. I'm wondering if I'm doing it right. I don't see things super clearly. And so what this exercise showed me is that that doesn't matter. I broke the visualization down into my senses, into my five senses. And I concentrated on each one of them for like 20 to 30 seconds. This made me feel that I was doing it correctly and it didn't make me feel overwhelmed trying to kind of do it all at once. So I want you to think of something completely random. Okay, I chose a drum set. I want you to think of something that's common, but something that you necessarily don't see every day. So first, I closed my eyes and I focused just on one thing, and that is what a drum set looked like. My imagination made this drum set cherry red. I don't know why, I just went with it. So just go with whatever your imagination gives you. You know, for me, it was a full drum set and it had two symbols on each side. I imagined looking at all of the pieces of the drum set and the way that my imagination saw it it was from looking at from the front of the drum set as if you were in a crowd and you're up you know at a live concert and that's the way you're seeing it whereas maybe if you were to visualize this you might be visualizing it from the drummer's seat so whatever way it's coming into your imagination, that's fine, just roll with it. After that, I went into touch. So what would it feel like to run my fingers over it? All the bumps of the pieces that are holding the whole set together, what does that feel like? What do the little ridges of the cymbals feel like? What does the, is it the face? I don't really know much about drums, but the face of the drums, the white part, like what does that feel like when I run my hands over it? So I did this for another 20 to 30 seconds and I just felt all of the pieces. A, a tip I wanna put in here is you don't need to worry about things that aren't showing up. For example, like I didn't picture drumsticks, like that's just not something that came into my mind or like the, the foot pedal that wasn't there, like whatever is popping in your mind, just roll with it. Next, I thought about the sound. What does the sound of the drums sound like? What is like, do, 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 do. like that, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that noise came into my mind. I thought about the, the crashing of the cymbals and what that would sound like and kind of, you know, if someone was just going crazy like myself and they didn't know how to drum and they're just like, <laughs> like what does that sound like, right? And I imagined that for another 20 to 30 seconds. You know, again, take the pressure off. You know, for something that I chose like this, I didn't really think of a smell and I wasn't really gonna think about the taste. <laughs> so depending on what you choose, obviously you can add those senses in or maybe take away one that I included in mine, but just take the pressure off and, and roll with whatever makes sense for you. So after about two-ish minutes of completely immersing myself into this and going sense to sense to sense, I finished and I continued on with my day and I didn't think about it again. So. <laughs> Here's the fun part. So later that night, I'm laying in bed and I'm watching Gilmore Girls on my laptop. And I'm starting to fall asleep while the show is still playing, which isn't something that I normally do. I usually am like very, like I turn the lights off, I turn the TV off, I put my sound machine on, I go to bed. For whatever reason, I was kind of falling asleep as it was playing. So I'm like, my eyes are closed, I'm kind of listening, but I'm falling asleep and I'm like, just trying to muster up the energy to just, open my eyeballs and turn the TV off. And so I finally did. And I freaking kid you not, what did I see? What did I see? <laughs> 
I saw a cherry red drum set on the screen. It was when uh, Lane, she had like, just started discovering that she wanted to be into music and she walked by some music store in town and she saw the drum set, the hell? And this was the first time it showed up in this show, so it's not like it was something I was subconsciously thinking of because of like prior episodes or anything. So at first, like I didn't even put two and two together and I, you know, turn the TV off and I'm going to sleep. And then I'm, I'm like, you know, picture this, right? I'm sleeping, I'm like going to sleep and I'm like, wait a second, wait a second. And I got so pumped and I was like, oh my God, I did it. This is it, that was, that was, the, that was the test and it worked. So I was super pumped. And then the next day, my logical mind was like, eh, you know, it was a coincidence. You know, you know how our logical minds work. We're like super doubtful and whatever. Like my logical mind was trying to just like butt in like an asshole. And I was like, no, 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 no. This is what I did. I manifested this using the visualization technique. So to solidify this belief in me, let me do it for something more like real, like in my life. So I decided to start small with something that I didn't necessarily care about so that I didn't have resistance towards it. Right, so I would highly recommend doing that. So I chose manifesting $5. A few days later, I, I do the same thing. I'm laying in bed, I close my eyes, and I think about a $5 bill, and I go through, again, all of the senses. What does it look like? And look, I don't know every little piece of what a $5 bill looks like, but in general, what does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it sound like when I scrunch it up? What does it smell like? I didn't taste it in my mind, although most things we can taste in our minds, just saying. I, if you. If you want to taste a $5 bill right now in your mind, you can. So anyway, so I do the whole thing again. I go through the whole process again. It takes two, maybe three minutes. And I get up and I move on with my day. So, <laughs> so later on, I, I got a letter in the mail that it was time to, for me to renew my car's registration, right? So I have a pile of all of my papers, all of my like files for, you know, the house I own, the, you know, the mortgage papers and insurance and all that kind of stuff, right? So I'm rolling through that trying to find my information for my car. What do I find? What do I find within that pile that I haven't gone through in probably a year and a half? I found $5! <laughs> Now, it wasn't a $5 bill, but it was a $5 gift card someone had given me last Christmas, so like over a year ago. And I'm like, bro, this is awesome, okay? Like, I, I've tried so many manifestation techniques, and like sometimes they work, but there was, it was something that, it was like, it solidified that knowledge in me. So doing these baby steps and doing this little technique, this little visualization, I've continued to, so this was a few days ago, so I've continued to do it, and the next day I did it with $10, then I did it with a cup of coffee, and then I did it with a free dinner. Like, I just keep building on that. And the more that you exercise this manifestation muscle, the more confidence you have with it, and, and the less that you have resistance to it because you begin to believe in the process, okay? Like, it's a lot of times we find it hard to believe in manifestation when, when we have no proof and, and, it, and it's okay you know that's okay that's our human mind it makes sense so I highly recommend testing this out for yourself and going through the process and just letting it go I think that was the key is I didn't focus on it I did the technique that I did the visualization and I moved on with my day I didn't think about it again and that's when it continues to show up because I'm not obsessing about it or worrying about it or anything like that. I want you guys to try this and let me know how it goes. If you have any other tips or tricks on visualization or anything that you know you want to add to this, please let me know in the comments below. You know, a lot of times we see a lot of people manifesting these huge sums of money or houses or relationships or whatever it is, and it it can seem so far out of reach for us that it kind of does the opposite of us getting excited about these manifestations. And that's what doing it this way and taking it step by step is going to help you with. So I love you guys so much. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. It's free and it helps me a lot. I love you guys so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.